do you find yourself waking up between 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. every day unintentionally and you're unsure why it keeps happening? Has it bothered you to the extent that you've sought medical advice? Are you concerned that there might be something wrong due to this pattern? First, consider what you typically do when you wake up during these hours. Do you often wonder why you're waking up at such an unusual time? We will address these questions and more in this video. If you're troubled by any of these issues, I encourage you to pay close attention and concentrate. With guidance, you'll gain insight into why you wake up at this peculiar hour and, importantly, what actions to take upon waking. Before we proceed, let's first understand the significance of 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. in a spiritual context. Many spiritual individuals believe that this time is optimal for God's chosen people to engage in prayer. Upon careful study of the scriptures, you will find that it was at this hour that Jacob wrestled with an angel, and this encounter significantly changed his life for the better. The scripture recounts, Jacob was left alone and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. When the man saw that he could not overpower Jacob, he touched the socket of Jacob's hip, and Jacob's hip was wrenched as they wrestled. The man said, Let me go, for the day breaks, but Jacob replied, I will not let you go unless you bless me, then the man asked him. What is your name, Jacob? he answered. And the man said, Your name will no longer be Jacob, but Israel, for you have struggled with God and with men, and have prevailed. Genesis chapter 32 verses 24 through 28 describes a pivotal moment. Owing to this encounter, we can infer that the period between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. is a time to seek and receive God's blessings. It is a time when God's glory is manifestly present. If you find yourself consistently waking up during these hours, consider it fortuitous, as it may be God's way of signaling impending blessings. However, it is essential to actively seek His presence. Have you ever contemplated what Jacob's fate might have been, had he been asleep at that hour? Perhaps we would never have learned of his existence, or Esau might have succeeded in harming him. Many of us may agree that we tend to enjoy our sleep most during the early hours, but if you find yourself consistently waking up at this time, you must resist the urge to fall back asleep if you truly wish to receive the blessings that God has prepared for you. We be aware that the devil knows the sacredness of this hour and will do everything in his power to prevent you from recognizing its significance. Even when you have fully grasped the importance of this time, the devil will persist sending his minions to disrupt your blessings or launching various attacks to deter you from accessing the day's blessings. However, one of the true signs of those chosen by God is their ability to withstand the devil's schemes, resist the attacks of the devil and his agents, and still partake in the blessings that God has reserved for them. Just as you may already know, life is entirely spiritual, and thus it is crucial to recognize your identity in Christ Jesus. Once you are cognizant of this truth, you will be able to comprehend your purpose and responsibilities in Him. Another critical reason you might find yourself waking up at this time is that you are a spiritual watchman. So you, son of man, I have made you a watchman for the house of Israel. Therefore, you shall hear a word from my mouth and warn them for me. Ezekiel 33 verse 7 as a child of God, you are a watchman, and it is your duty to intercede for God's chosen ones, protecting them from the wiles of the devil. As a watchman, your foremost responsibility is to look out for the souls, ensuring their redemption, fully aware that if anything befalls them, God will hold you accountable. He will not blame the enemy but you, for he has appointed you to oversee their souls. As a child of God, you have been chosen to oversee territories and safeguard generations, from falling prey to the devil's schemes. If you find your sleep disturbed around this hour, know that you are not alone. Many others experience the same, but their responses vary. While some seek medical assistance, others have recognized the spiritual significance of this time and have learned to harness it, reaping its benefits. Now, returning to our main question. What do you do when you wake up between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m.? The first action you should take upon waking at this hour is to begin interceding for generations. As I mentioned earlier, we are all watchmen, tasked with praying for those who are lost and for those who have accepted God as their Savior. 
The devil relentlessly seeks to disrupt the lives of believers to sever their relationship with God. The peril of failing to intercede for others is grave. You may be held accountable for their sins. Scripture warns he heard the sound of the trumpet but did not take warning his blood shall be upon him. However, he who takes warning will save his life. If the watchman sees the sword coming and does not blow the trumpet, so the people are not warned, and the sword comes and takes any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood I will require at the watchman's hand. Ezekiel 33 verse 5 to 6 The second thing you should do upon waking at this hour is to begin meditating. It might be helpful to recall your last dream as it could guide your thoughts. For God speaks once. Yes, twice, yet man does not perceive it. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falls upon men, while slumbering on their beds, then he opens the ears of men and seals their instruction. Job 33 verse 14 to 16. It's important to recognize that God communicates in various ways, including through our dreams. If you attempt to recall your last dream, you may discern what God intends for you at that moment. Often, God may impart specific instructions in your dream, so remembering it upon waking is crucial, otherwise you might miss what God is asking of you. Frequently, we may forget our dreams, and in such instances, meditation can be beneficial. When you meditate, your mind seeks to uncover hidden knowledge and powerful insights that God has instilled within you. Regular meditation allows you to delve into these mysteries, and the more time you dedicate to reflecting on God's Word, the deeper your understanding will become. This can profoundly impact not only your life, but also the lives of those around you. Thirdly, another critical action to take upon waking during this time is to stand firm against the schemes of the wicked for the new day. The devil tirelessly devises new strategies to harm God's children and ensnare those still entangled in sin. Each day, the devil and his agents plot fresh ways to cause destruction. Therefore, when you awaken, you must rise and counteract all the plans and works of the devil for the new day. Pray against every thought and deception of the devil, and entrust the day into God's hands. Lastly, another crucial practice upon waking at this unusual hour is to begin making declarations to yourself. Proclaim the words of God over your life, affirming what the scriptures say about you. Waking up at these hours offers many benefits, as your words can have a significant impact at this time. The hallmark of a successful person is their ability to remain vigilant and pray, even while others are preoccupied with different activities. Once you've finished interceding for others and meditating, start speaking into the new day. Declare what you desire for the day and observe as it unfolds just as you have decreed. The Bible teaches us that our words carry power and whatever we speak can manifest. Be grateful each day you awaken at this hour, for you have been granted the extraordinary opportunity to dictate the outcomes in your life. If you feel that your life is not progressing as it should, or if you sense that something is amiss, then it's time to fortify yourself even more. Reject the temptation to sleep and take command of your destiny in the early hours of the day. You will also decree a thing and it will be established for you and light will shine on your ways. Job 22 verse 28 You possess the power to declare what you desire in your life. If you are weary of your current circumstances, start affirming all of God's promises over your life and witness the wonders He will perform. Let us pray. Thank you, dear God, for this brand new day which we do not take for granted. We bless your holy name and remain eternally thankful for your love and protection over our families and loved ones. We pray that you send angels to guide us and our loved ones. We seek protection over our lives and we ask that you mend our broken hearts. Touch each one of us in need of your healing, comfort those who mourn, and bless our financial endeavors. Dear God, we acknowledge that the prayers of a sinner are an abomination to your holy name. Therefore, we beseech you to cleanse us from all unrighteousness and impurity. We pray for deliverance from sin and self. Guide us to do only what pleases you to despise sin and its vices, to be saved from the lusts of the flesh, and to love you with all our hearts. 
Father. May you be glorified and exalted above all other gods. Lord, we ask for your forgiveness for our sins in Jesus' name. O Lord, we seek grace to be approved, to find joy and to gain acceptance in places that matter. Grant us peace on every side, ending the struggles for us and our households. In Jesus' name, we declare that our rightful places and portions in life and destiny be safeguarded. May no one or no force strip us of our glory. Father, if anyone stands in the way of our elevation and promotion, remove them now by your power. We pray for a transformation in our narrative. May our adversaries know no peace all the days of their lives. In Jesus' name, we proclaim that every scheme, trap, or plot of the wicked shall fail, regardless of the planner. O Lord, grant us the spirit of boldness to confront any situation in life in Jesus' name. O Lord, we seek a meek and calm heart. Grant this to us, Father. In Jesus' name, let every evil manipulation aimed at us or our household be exposed and may the perpetrators be punished. May those who harbor ill will towards us either repent or face their own downfall. O Lord, cause both men and women to favor and honor us. In Jesus' name. Father, send us helpers who will consistently support and honor us. O God, remove any obstacles that impede our path to divine recognition and introduction. Grant us the wisdom to know what to do at every given time and opportunity. Ancient of days, we worship your holy name. We exalt your name above all others, declaring that you are Yahweh. Thank you, Jesus, for your boundless goodness and mercy towards us and our family. To you be all the glory. Father, we ask for your mercy upon our children. Forgive all their shortcomings in Jesus' name. Fill our children with your spirit and subdue the power of the flesh in their lives. From this moment on, let us proclaim your praises. Grant us abundant grace to walk as ambassadors of Christ, so that we may reflect your image. Father, help us to be the light of the world, the city set on a hill that cannot be hidden, in Jesus' name. Let your power work in our lives, enabling us to make positive impacts on our generation. Assist us in becoming soul winners and let our lives draw many to Christ, in the name of Jesus. May everyone who comes into contact with us encounter Christ. From now on, may we continuously reflect your glory and splendor. Father, eradicate any ungodly traits from our lives, reveal your goodness, and let your glory shine in every aspect of our existence. My Father, rise up and confront every ancestral altar challenging the destinies of our loved ones. Sever us from all that would destroy our destiny in Jesus' name. Father, grant us a deeper knowledge of you. O oh Lord, may our hearts remain eternally connected to you. Lord God, we invite your presence into our household. Father, extend your hand of protection over us wherever we go. Bestow upon us your spirit of wisdom and assist us in being leaders, not followers, in Jesus' name. We thank you for your steadfast faithfulness and goodness towards us and our household. We exalt your holy name. We worship and adore you, Father, accept our praise today in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we honor you for who you are and for all you have done since the start of this year. Our gratitude knows no bounds. All glory to your holy name. Father, we ask to be filled to the brim we yearn for an outpouring of your Spirit within us. Lord, have mercy on us for all our sins in Jesus' name. Father, nothing is too challenging for you. Arise, O Lord and provide assistance to us this season. Father, grant us a deeper knowledge of you. O Lord, may our hearts remain eternally connected to you. Lord God, we invite your presence into our household. Father, extend your hand of protection over us wherever we go. Bestow upon us your spirit of wisdom and assist us in being leaders, not followers, in Jesus' name. We thank you for your steadfast faithfulness and goodness towards us in our household. We exalt your holy name. O Lord, by your mercy, transform our narrative and instill a new song in my heart in Jesus' name. Father, nothing is too difficult for you. We ask you to bring about positive changes in our business and careers. Build our faith in you, Father, and rekindle our hope. Consecrate us for your purpose, sanctify us, and make us vessels fit for the Master's use. Lay your hands upon us and mend us, Father. May your countenance shine upon us this season, and may your beauty be reflected in us in Jesus' name. We declare judgmental fire upon every force limiting our lives and destiny 
proclaiming that no weapon forged against us and our household shall prosper in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we are more than conquerors. Abba Father, rise and confront any forces challenging our lives and destiny. We declare that every accident meant to harm us or our family members is thwarted in Jesus' name. We decree that our family is sheltered under the shadow of the Most High God. Powers assigned to turn our glory into shame be thwarted by fire. In the name of Jesus. Anything that must perish for our lives to advance, be thwarted by fire. In the name of Jesus. Every vow made by our enemies against our lives be scattered by fire. In the name of Jesus. Every herod assigned against our lives and destiny be scattered by fire. In Jesus' name. Every evil vow made against our life and destiny shall not prevail. In the name of Jesus. Every conspiracy of the enemies against our life and destiny be scattered to desolation in the name of Jesus. Every vow of the enemies against our progress and success be thwarted in the name of Jesus. Blood drinkers and flesh eaters assigned against us and our household this year be thwarted by fire in the name of Jesus. Every coffin prepared for us or any family member this year by our enemies catch fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. My Father, we are ready. Revive us in the name of Jesus. We declare in the name of Jesus that we will not heed the voice of strangers, but will listen to the voice of God. Let every piece of information stored in the cauldron against us be consumed by fire in the name of Jesus. O acts of God, fell every witchcraft tree contending with our life and destiny. In the name of Jesus, every cage crafted to imprison our life, we shatter you into pieces. In the name of Jesus, we are grateful because you will uphold us with your righteous hand wherever we go. Thank you for guiding and sustaining us in all our endeavors. We are ever thankful for your omnipresence in our lives and for your continual guidance. Thank you, dear God, because we are confident that you have heard us and will grant us answers to all our prayers. Thank you for always listening to us, even when we falter, for continually loving us without giving up, and for always caring for us. We have prayed in Jesus' glorious name, Amen. We hope this video has inspired you. Please leave a comment on how God has started to transform your life. Share your thoughts about this video by leaving a comment, and don't hesitate to share it so more people can be reached. Remember to like this video if you enjoyed it. Thank you for consistently liking our videos and for subscribing to our channel. Together we will strive to be the very best. We love you.